Hello guys, Sean or Steve Spinal here, um, with my first solo let's play. Um, I've uh, left Reese somewhere, but nowhere, but uh, he's not here, and uh, today I feel like doing a bit of Portal 2. Um, a lot of people played this game a lot longer, a while before I did, when it first came out, obviously. And uh, I'm gonna do it now. Um, it's a brilliant game, absolutely love this game. I'm gonna start a new game at the very beginning at Courtesy Cool. Yep, I'm aware of all that. So let's just get in and start and uh, have a play a little bit of playing of uh, Portal 2. So, there's GLaDOS. Gladys, as some people call her. Don't know why, she's clearly called GLaDOS, not Gladys, but uh. There you go. It does take a while to load on the Xbox. There we go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for eight days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a right. mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay, we can do that. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Okay, let's go look at the painting. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. It's very nice, there's a mountain in a little hut. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, uh, I don't think it did actually. On this classical music. Thank you. I was enjoying Good. that. Now please return to your bed. Okay. Yeah, I'm still tired. Just gonna go to sleep. That didn't sound good. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Hello? Hello? Anyone in there? Yes. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, God, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all I'm saying, prepare. It's all fine. All right, don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. The painting's changed. Looks like it's just all dark. It's all right down there? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Yeah. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Uh, Say that. Times I played this Apple. game and these jokes still make me laugh. Okay, you know what? That's <laughs> close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh, that's. I'm gonna go hide in the cupboard. Okay, look, I <laughs> wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water I'm here. Ready. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? No. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. That can't be good. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Tell it, Fridge. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Ooh. Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Where well, exactly is we need? Can't see him. Uh, See up there somewhere? Just gotta get through here! Whoa! Jesus! I, I just gotta concentrate! 
actually got flung forward then. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Whoops. Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Just a little bit. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Says it's down below. Good news. That is not a docking See, station. See right there below. So there's one mystery solved. 500 uh, I'm feet below. A manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Manual override on the wall. Almost there. So you're gonna hit it. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, that worked. Got the reticle back. There we go. Hello. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that yeah, jumping yeah, on your side. Cool. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Uh, okay. Yep. Hello, and again, welcome well, to the here we are again. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. It's four o'clock. What's up, Shell? How are you doing, girl? Okay, let's just go. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing have caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Ah, uh, the lifts of aperture. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Right, let's do this simple little test. And grab that. Get there, and then we go to that. Go in here, put that there, turn around. There, jump, jump, jump over here, and we're done. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. In that case, can I just give myself all the top marks without actually doing any work? Just did all of the stuff. Yes. Tick. No one would ever know. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. Animal king takeover. Giant leopard turret. Okay, so breaking glass. Hey, hey you What's made up, it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Yep. Well, there should be. I can't see it though. No. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Yeah, okay. Oh well, there we go. Hello. Can you see the portal, guys? No. 
Also, are you alive? Yes. That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. Does he follow her? I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. I think it does. And assuming I can locate your dead body, Just let me follow I'll the arrow. Alright, brilliant. Go team! <laughs> See you in an hour, hopefully. Lovely pictures, and then we can grab the blue portal device. Yay, I can escape. This way. Uh, no way. What time? It was time. Uh, about to do? Uh, not too bad. Probably not the right time. Probably, uh, probably that clock probably ended up stopped quite a while ago, actually. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. <laughs> Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as the laws stuff. of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. On to the next test chamber. It does kind of take the challenge out of the game, seeing as I've already played this game 50 million times. But I've never recorded the video of me playing it, and this game is awesome, and I felt like playing it, so why not? As Cave Jones would say, just why not? This next test is very dangerous. Probably would say that, don't I? Remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed. Yeah, in three, still does that. Two, one. Listen to the music. Uh, let's go. Right, so let's go here. That. And go through that. Grab it. Put that there. Do that. Do that. Nope. That's that. Great work. And because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. And off we go. So that was quite easy, and we've already done a fair bit of the sort of tutorial. Test chambers, as it were. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. The, the thing about portal is, you know, portal and portal and portal too, even is that um. Even you could play them a million times and know how to do every single course in two seconds. It's um, it they're still really fun to play, and you will just come back just to play them because that's the kind of games they are. They are just funny, fun, and just all around really, really, really good games. I missed a okay. That and then that. Yes. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Let's go and grab it and put it up here. There we go. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I'm not talking as much as I thought I would. It's quite strange. It's quite hard to think of what to say when you're doing stuff on your own. And when you've got uh, someone else playing with you, it's quite easy to keep talking to one another. But when you're on your own, it's a bit harder. Just keep thinking things. This to say. next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> the jokes in portals still make me laugh. You know, I, I've never, even I've heard them like a million times. Um, right, so. Yep, okay, I remember how to do this one, I think. 
It's been a while since I've seen, since I've played Portal 2, but uh, let's still come back. Oh, try to be cocky. Oh yeah, pro Portal skills. Employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. Can we open the door then? Testing is the future, and the future starts with you. And then we. Let's go over there. Um, oh, let's, let's do it this way. Or not, that way. Uh, let's try again. <laughs> that didn't go well. Right. There we go. And put that there. And then put that. Let's just go about there. Oh uh, yeah. Good work getting this far. <laughs> that said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Not saying anything. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey. Oi, oi. Sir Wheatley. I'm up here. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't yep. they, at the end of the day? Yep. Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never never ever to disengage myself from my management rail or i would die but we're out of options here so get ready to catch me all right on the off chance that i'm not dead the moment i pop off this thing on three ready one two three that's high it's, it's <laughs> too high isn't it really that all right going on three just gives you too much time to think about it Let's uh, go on one this time. Yeah. Okay, ready? One. Catch me! Ow! It's physically Ow. impossible to catch him. I am not dead. I'm not dead. Nope. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Nope. Oh, fine. All right, you can turn around now. <laughs> you already did. Bam! Secret panel. That I open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! Whoops. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, Just follow the rail, actually. Hey, Torek. Oh, no. Yes, hello. We're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. I would, but Appreciate you're it. in the way. Keep moving, keep moving. Aw, oh, bye little turret. Oh, I know you are, I know, don't worry. Everything will be fine, I'm sure. Let's go, Wheatley. Yeah. And yet another loading screen. So... Onwards onto the next part of portal. To bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. Okay. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Yeah. Then, yeah. She okay. Would. I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Oh, God. Oh, still held, still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit, we're all fine. That's tremendous. Did miss out a bit of Wheatley's dialogue there, right at the top of the stairs, where he tells you to maintain a firm grip 
on the portal device and therefore him whilst jumping. So that's why his audio is what he's saying and saying quite right when he land. But there you go. Ah I just sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah I just done it again. Yeah, it's high, so what? This is the main breaker room. It's a lot of breakers. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Okay. Alright, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even don't even look at anything else. Just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand? Can you see it anywhere? I can't nope. see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, <laughs> makes it go faster. Uh, uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. Not a problem. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no no no! Sweetly. No, no. <laughs> okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. That I'm gonna regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say though that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up. You must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Oh, God.